never take your phone to the tree stand and leave it on. Anyways, guys, here it is. It's November 22nd. Um, just got set up in the tree. I'm trying something different. Hopefully you guys will see it. Um, but I just wanted to film this. This is like the absolute worst case scenario. Just about everything that could go wrong on this hunt has went wrong on this hunt. Broke part of my tree saw trying to cut off a limb. Dropped my release. So my release is on the ground. Haven't used my backup, which is a back tension. Haven't shot it in months. Um, so literally this is everything can go wrong kind of situation. Um, phone even started ringing just then. So, you know, what we're doing tonight is I got set up in this tree and I've actually put a, stay with me here, I don't know if you can see it, but right there is another camera in a tree that's about five or six yards away. And what it's set on is it's set on time lapse. So it's going to take a picture every minute tonight while I'm sitting in the stand. Um, and this is to kind of show amount of movement that I do in a saddle during the hunt. So hopefully it all comes together. Um, if it does, it'll be a dad burn miracle. Because this is just miserable so far. Um, we'll see. Hang in there. All right, guys, so I want to talk a little bit more about last night's um, hunt that we did. Um, you know, it was about two, a little over two and a half hours set um, during Virginia rifle season. And during rifle season here in Virginia, you're only required to wear a blaze orange hat. So you'll see in the early part of the video, I have a vest and a hat on. Um, and then when I layer up during the video, I actually just put my coat on directly over my vest, um, tuck it into the belt, and just continue hunting. So... That's not that big of an issue. It's not a law-breaking deal or anything like that. Um, you know, for my safety, I prefer to wear a vest and a hat just because I don't want no one to shoot me. So, you know, just in case somebody's seen that, it's like, oh, hey, you know, it's it's perfectly legal here in Virginia. But um, back to the hunt, you know, it was a two-and-a-half-hour hunt. Um, that set was pretty close to where I killed my buck earlier this year. It was, you know, kind of unique to do because I'd been thinking about doing this for a long time. I just never really had the chance. Um, so yesterday I had enough time, snuck out there a little bit earlier. Uh, basically what I did was I went up the tree that I was going to hunt, set my my step platform, my Odin steps, then went back down the tree pulling my steps on the, my sticks on the way down, went over, you know, about five yards that tree next to me, put my muddy sticks up, put the camera up, and the reason I put my platform up first was so that when I put the camera up, I would know, you know, about how high to aim it, left to right, that kind of thing, so I kind of got myself centered in the camera before I even set up. Turned the camera on time lapse, went back down, pulled my sticks, went back over the tree I plan on hunting, you know, hooked my bow up, had my pack, all that. Went up the tree just like I would typically hunting. Um, got set up, cut a couple tree limbs, put my tree strap, pulled my bow up, had all that stuff set up. So you kind of get to see a little bit of that. Again, it's, you know, picture taken every minute, so you don't get to see the exact progression of it. I might do one again later in the year. Um, I do it every 30 seconds throughout the night. Just kind of give you a little more uh, insight on what goes on you know, during the hunt, but for the most part, you get to see everything. Um, I had a doe come in behind me at like nine yards. Um, she walked from my three o'clock all the way across to my um, six or my nine o'clock. Um, went right behind me at like nine yards. So I didn't, you know, didn't do anything with her. Let her go by. Um, and then you'll see me. I turn my back to the camera in one frame. Uh, have binoculars up. I'm glassing two other does that came through. Um, but I'm running this in the video at a quarter speed. Um, just so you kind of get a longer video of it, you know, when I run at full speed, it's only like an eight second video, so I mean, it's really quick. So, you know, I kind of drag it out a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit more of each frame and what's going on within that frame. Um, so, hope you guys enjoy it. You know, it's something a little bit different. We'll try some other stuff later in the year. I've um, got a couple other things planned, but, you know, going to need some assistance with that. So, stay tuned. Thanks, guys.